Hey, this is Gavi. I um, wanted to share with you two thoughts. One is that I bought this at the grocery store, Simbat. Um, sol, soslu Messir. Huge mistake. <laughs> there was a period of time. When did we live in the States? 10 years ago? Over 10 years ago? We left the States in 2004. So in 2004, before we, we left States, there was a period of time that I was addicted to um, mm, toasted corn. And in the States, they come in barbecue and in cheddar and in oh, all these great flavors and just original also. And I was addicted to them and I somehow stopped myself. I weaned myself off of them. Probably means Kobe stopped buying them for me. Like he stopped buying for me bluebell vanilla ice cream sandwiches when I was pregnant with Daniel when I got up to six a day. So that was the first thought I wanted to share with you. And the more important thought is that we're here at Yonka Lodge and the kids are too far away, I can't show you, but they've been outside playing all day. All day. All day, all day, all day. Right now they're running toward the beach. This morning they were building um, um, a floating device, a flotation device their own little boat. Um, today, Daniel told me she ate an apple and it was soggy, so she took it outside her porch and fed it to the goat. <laughs> um, last night, Razi and Solai caught a chicken that needed to be put in the pen for his own safety, and they chased him around and caught him. Um, and right now, the kids um, are supposed to be packing, which they're not. I'm showing a blind eye in that direction. But, uh, hello, cow. <laughs> um, the, there's two touching stories. One is that they were supposed to be packing. Danny said she was looking out her window. She saw a bird fall from the sky. She went outside and his beak was all twi twisted and tangled. He was bleeding. And he, you know, Danya's like her mom, super dramatic. And he died in my uh, arms. Um, so they, they held the dead bird for a while. Then they went and told someone here who told someone who speaks in English who told the gardener to come um, and the gardener's a dear man he's picking fruits all day with, with the fruits that they pick they make the yams and the juices and the jams and the juices and it's paradise um, so he came and dug a hole and I watched from my third story uh, patio I didn't want to disturb he dug a hole he dug a grave for the bird they buried the bird and did like a little silent ceremony and then the kids ran around and picked leaves and flowers and decorated the, the grave. I'll take a picture later to show you. So they they really, you know, consecrated this ground and consecrated the death of their dear bird who they knew for 10 seconds. Um, and then they told me yesterday a story about a chicken who sat on three goose eggs, which weren't hers, they belong to the goose, and she assumes they're hers, and they were born yesterday. Um, and now the chicken has these baby geese who she's taking care of as her own, and the kids just got a kick out of it. There's gonna be these huge geese, you know, mommy, 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 running after this like tiny chicken. And the lady here had told them that when the goose are gonna swim and the chicken doesn't, so that the mom will wait on the side at the bank of the river and the, the geese will go in and swim and the mom will pr proudly wait on the side. So it's another, you know, kind of a wrinkle in nature um, where, where things kind of went wrong and, and they're gonna go really right. And now a chicken is gonna raise some geese. I can hear them yelling. If they're close enough, I can show you a zoom of them, but I can't see them. It's it's really, this is what I want. I want to live by, a, by, by the sea, on a farm, with fruits and vegetables. They have an organic garden here, organic fruits, orchids of fruits. So I want to live on a farm near the sea with organic fruits and vegetables and tons of livestock, birds, chickens, geese, um, but I don't want to have to do any work. <laughs> I want my kids to be able to run around and play with these animals, um, help around the farm. Um, I wouldn't mind three hours a day of chores. I, they're yelling. I wouldn't mind three hours a day of working on a farm. But I think that 
to maintain this beautiful land, they must work a tremendous amount. And we as guests in the Yonka Lodge just go, oh, it's so beautiful. But like, there's a lot of work behind this. They do an amazing job here, um, cutting the grass, trimming the trees, taking care of the garden. I mean, it's heavenly, it's a huge area. I mean, I can show you. This is just from my patio. It's a huge area with 14 rooms. So you have all these little areas where you sit and relax, little cushioned, places with the billowing curtains. I wish I could see them. I hear them. So we're having a wonderful time. Really, really grateful. This is the, again, the calmest and happiest we've been um, in a long time. Yeah, we're not going to move a lot. We're going to find some place and settle down quickly. Some place really connected to nature.